But uh, Mike Wing went on uh, OS Today and tweeted out something uh, talking about green releases. And this is always something that uh, I'm going to read what he wrote, then we'll, we'll kind of get into sure. this. Uh, he said on Twitter that their green releases in NBA 2K16 are much more rare uh, and they will no longer be 100%. And I had a lot of tweets saying, well, in 2K15, one out of fifth, you know, one out yeah. of 500, I missed a green release. Yeah. And uh, that was when, when 2K15 came out, we, we had said, hey, they never released 100%. Which of time. was true. Which was true until I think it was patch two that changed that. Yep. Uh, then, you know, green releases very, very rarely did miss. Um, and it's always been a point of contention in terms of like debates with gameplay, you know, connoisseurs and, you know, people that really talk about it's this. It's always sort of the thing. guys that have it happen in the last 10, 15 seconds of that the game. That posts the one video that of them the missing, one video right? of it. Uh, So I wanted to read off uh, what, what Mike had kind of said about. This and then this will take us into a different discussion going forward for NBA 2K16. Yep. Uh, Mike writes, uh, there have been battles even internally over missed green releases, especially sure. now that they are hard to get. I, I really think it's an unsolvable problem. The best news I can give you is that our shots engineer has made just about every knob I use to tune shooting modifiable on the server side post-release just like a roster update. So if there's something the community is not happy with, I can tweak the system and update your games without the need for a patch. So what happened in patch four last year will Won't never happen, again. happen yep. again. So there's a couple things to talk about there. Uh, one, we're very aware of like, you know, the feedback the community has given about patch four, right? We, we've talked about it before. It's arguably made shots too easy and there's a lot of different factors for that. But I think we look at patch four and I think we look at where we want the game to be and you're going to see a complete night and day difference when it comes to NBA 2K16 shooting. Definitely. The second part to this is that now, like uh, roster updates, uh, he can go in. So let's say we look at hot spots on the park, right? If I go to the park right now, I know a lot of people are doing step back corner threes, uh, having a lot of success with that. If we see those like red zones where there a lot of you know shots are being hit, we can an dev team can now analyze that data and look at it and maybe fine tune some of those shot percentages uh, without the need for a patch. And yep. I think that's huge. We've never had that before. I, in the no, game. I, I don't and think it's a you, small thing that will help keep the game balanced. I don't think you can undermine the the significance of that. Yeah. Like I, I, huge. I think being able to impact. Uh, shot by shot, what, what can uh, and what should go in on, on the various modes in our game sure. is going to make a um, is going to make a tremendous difference. And and you know as we continue to talk about gameplay and addressing, because the one thing this team does better than anyone is they, they take what we've done and improve right and immensely improve everything from a gameplay perspective, and that's what NBA 2K16 is going to do. And we have a huge. Um, huge piece coming on that in, in the coming weeks. Yes, so uh, it, a lot of stuff there. Uh, and you know, the dev teams listen. They've they've read all that feedback, especially from you know the OSs of the world. All you you brilliant tweeters out there that use clean NSFW language.